McLeod, who directed our, what's that called, Cafe Night. Wonderful show this year, thank you. Dorita Head, who not only helps with junior course, but is also tour director once again, tour coordinator, what would I do without you? Um, David Teron, whose name did not get in the program, but who is handling all our t-shirts and stuff for us. Without him, we might be paying a fortune for those. So I don't blame them we don't have to. Um, Billy Moody, who stepped in mid-year and has just been such a huge help to Christy Perkins. And without these two, I would probably just be quivering in the corner and just falling. Uh, because I hate administrative work and that's what they do. Uh, Lana Thompson, who has also dealt with our t-shirts, and it's like she hangs around and it's like, Lana, I need this, can you do it? She's a good sport, she always says, yeah, so. Now, Lana, can you come clean my house for me this evening? No. <laughs> <laughs> All because needed. And another name that did get in the program, Jill Hamlet, who, if, if it hadn't been for her, there would have been no tickets sold for uh, Cafe Night, which kind of defeats the purpose of having it. Um, and our accompanist, Beth Chapley, and Paul Lundy, um, where's, there's Jeff, there she is, okay. Who am I forgetting? I have flowers sitting here, so I'm forgetting somebody. <laughs> is Jan Larson in the audience? Okay, for those of you who know Jan Larson, next time you see her, love her and hug her neck. If it were not for her, there would be no UIC. She was the first person to believe in me, and she said, you know, you can just start a group. You can do that. And I didn't believe in myself, but she believed in me and said, you can so do this. So if it were for Jan, there would be no UIC. Her name is always in the program. Um, Karen Hennessy, who helped with uh, uniforms, and she's not here tonight. So um, she's helping with uniforms for the ballet as well. Um, wow. I, I'm so forgetting somebody. Help me. Who am I is, that, is that it? We're just like, we have extra flowers? Mr. Teron! <laughs> Dang it! Okay. I even tried to make like a masculine looking bouquet that didn't have all the berry in it for you. So I think if you and Christy speak, it won't look quite so feminine. There you go. <laughs>